Hey there, everyone, this is Sag Alplin, DuckTales, Cow. If you're gonna play a not Mega Man, wouldn't Darkwing Duck make a whole lot more sense? To which I answer, yeah, but I also want a game that I am confident would take exactly five videos, so here we are. I've never played Darkwing Duck, so I don't know. So next on the list, after we clear the Amazon and made a scant one million dollars and change basically out of that mess, um, the next line is Transylvania, but people who have played this game before would maybe know why I am deciding to maybe leave that level for later, so let's go through reverse order and go on the moon casually. Here we go, there's an alien on the moon, and gravity is what you would think. Okay, if you tab the button, that's how you get low. Got it! Whoa, and our robot spaceman too while we're at it, and here's an M. Just so you know, we got the sweet music on the moon. Let's ruin it immediately. That's a plan! Can you hit the crater? Huh. Whoa, whoa, oh shoot, you already like... ...reverted back... ...to being a duck. Well, yeah, I've never stopped. Alright, there's ice cream everywhere. Free for all, uh... And a murder spree too, here we go. Here's a spaceship on a moon that we're gonna explore. I don't know what's up with that giant guy. I kinda don't really remember... ...where you have to do or what to go. So we're just gonna have some fun. Alright, so, yeah, I had to... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm getting hurt in a dumb way. Okay, there was something there. Look at those spikes. That's how you know that they're serious. Then you get to the edge of the world, and I almost don't press the button in time! Alright, uh, yeah, I don't remember these alien guys at all. I don't know what their deal is. Like, these kind of look like Krang, which at the time made sense to me, probably. Uh, it looks like I'm deciding to go on the side here. Yeah, that's right. You have rocks in your spaceship. What up with that? Please take better care of your space equipment. Like, come on, man. Here we go. We got treasures everywhere. Don't try to- Oh, shoot. I lost my pogo there. And I took a nasty hit. All right, I'm gonna slide this thing. Slide this thing? You have a lot of sense within you, small little empty E-tank. And then a magical chest appeared and said, Hey, you want some cake? I'm always game for some cake. And you get here and nothing really's happening. Oh boy, oh, then this guy happens. That's right, Spaceship Moon! Don't try to understand, there's nothing really to get. Diamond Zero. Look at that massive door that we don't get to explore. Yeah, that's the kind of game this is, alright? Don't worry about it. There's Saturn. Cake! Just kind of floating there. Uh, not floating. That would be ridiculous. Floating, though. That's what cakes all do. Duck! Look at that! I can go here and hit a wall! And nothing really happens, but then, you know, more diamonds materialize. Is that why Scrooge McDuck? is super rich because carbon just appears everywhere. What up? Small child. There's a key inside the UFO. We can't go on without it. A key must be found. I think her name is Webby? Which honestly I feel is a very bad name for a fictional duck. Like imagine you have a child. A small girl child. And you decide, you know what? I will call her by her main quality, Toesy, because she has feet with toes on it. That's what it feels like. What's with this giant chest? Here's a square! It's the hidden treasure! Oh, is that a thing? I completely forgot about- like, what is that? What is a deuce? It's a big old square, don't worry about it. Space square on the moon. Here we go. So now I'm wondering if I missed a big treasure, like that in the Amazon level, you know? I don't know, I'm just kind of going down. Whoa, watch out, yeah. Pogo if you want, because there's an alien there. I just brained! Uh, get out of my face while we destroy the world around us. Whoa. See, the, the big danger is that sometimes, you know, you pogo and you bounce a lot, and then there's a spike, like, on the ceiling. You don't unpogo quick enough. Those are 
sordid tales of my travels. Check it out! These are the space rock colony. Good times. Oh. Whoa, watch out! He's got a robot punch that's making him move forward a little bit. What if I just despawn him a little bit, huh? Yeah, how do I... Okay, so... Oh, I think he's trying to fly off with his jetpack, but he can't because there's a ceiling? Maybe. And see, there's this clone that appears immediately. Alright, a good time was just had for sure. What's going on there? Can you go there? Well, you need to have a rope to be able to go up a thing. So I don't know. There we go! Destruction! Let's do it again. Yeah! It's launch pad. How did you end up here before me? Well, I mean, you probably piloted the thing that went through the moon regardless. So you know what? You have an excuse. Oh, I guess! The screws my duck loves to golf. Hey, it's a key! Space key! To the UFO! <laughs> I understand what they're saying, but it's just funny because we are in the UFO right now. So we already had to have some kind of opening. Oh no, you can't just go here. I secret message of the red diamond zone. Yeah, space cake. Tastes like flour. It's not baked or anything. It just looks nice for photos. Why are we celebrating that? Are we celebrating it? That's the real question. Alright, I could use some space cake right now, though. Hey, well, I'm gonna take your space Sunday. How about that? It's time to double track! Cause now we got a key. And, you know, now that small child will be happy. I say that as if it's the small child that's keeping the door closed. And not the fact that it is, like, materially blocked from being opened at this point in time. I mean, these levels are pretty com- well, not complicated, but a little complex. Not even pretty, I don't think. Hey, she's just gone. Alright, and you just go through the door. And that's the reason we went in this spaceship all this time, I bet you knew that. That's right. Bless me bagpipes. Now Gizmo Duck can blast that wall. What is he talking about? Is there any part of that sentence that seemed kind of haphazard? That's okay, don't worry about it. Always bless your bagpipes, especially if you're on the moon. Well, Gizmo Duck, for those who don't know, was a character in the cartoon DuckTales by Warner Brothers. And he's a robot that, in order to come and help you destroy walls, you know, you had whole episodes dedicated to Scrooge McDuck trying to find his remote control. That's basically what all the later seasons devolved and That's just, like, live from Bubble Man, this platform here. Woo! Okay, that was pretty scary. I keep wanting to hit one of these and then, like, it's like, OH SHOOT! I messed up. Apparently you can't continue in this game. Why do you make me restart all the way here? Do... I still have the stuff, though. Yeah, UFO and remote control. I would rather be started back at the start of the level, honestly, buddy. Maybe you can earn lives with score or something? That's my hope. Gonna destroy all these rocks. No? Okay. Because we know that this game just makes, like, pickups appear out of thin air at a given notice. And I'm kind of hoping on that for, like, a cake to appear on me. You know? As you do. <laughs> Alright, here's that big old wall we heard about. Wow, good thing I got your remote control. Because, well, that. You got a shot, come out of your belly, and you explode the world. Good time! Yeah, here we go. I got a little... Yeah, two ice creams. All right. And also, the Beagle Boys are here on the moon. Don't worry about it. That's the kind of thing that happens sometimes. Okay? All right. You're just gonna have to accept that. All right. Here we go. Oh, yeah, my inventory, the space treasure or whatever, though. Like, that wasn't accounted for. So I don't know what that is. So I'm assuming it's just a thing and fine. Like, even if the Amazon has a big chest with a, like, a bonus thing on it, 
I can't return in the level. I'm locked out. So anyway, here's the boss. He just kind of starts and ambushes you. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> so it's a big rat. Don't worry about it. Those are on the moon. Kind of bounces around a lot. Like, that's its attack pattern. Whoa. There was some... Oh, its invincibility period lasts forever. Also, it's almost a boss fight. Also, I don't know, I found moon cheese. Yes, yeah, it's a story about the moon's made of cheese or whatever, right? Yeah, walking place, Scrooge McDuck. It's how he celebrates all the time. Here we go! We found evidence of moon rats, and that owned us about two million dollars. I feel like you undersold that quite a bit, Scrooge. Like, honestly. You're kind of silly there. But we did! Uh, yay! We may not return to the moon ever again. But I'm kind of bummed about the fact that I have no lives left. I hope I can find some eventually. 